Hi, I'm Garvin. This video is on Humalog. So Humalog, what is it used for? So it's used for diabetes. And how does it work? So Humalog vials, Humalog cartridges, and Humalog quick fin pre-filled pens all contain insulin Lispro. They are used to treat diabetes. People with diabetes have a deficiency or absence of a hormone made by the pancreas called insulin. Insulin is the main hormone responsible for controlling levels of sugar in the blood. People with type 1 diabetes need to have injections of insulin to control the amount of glucose in the bloodstream. Insulin injections act as a replacement for natural insulin and allow people with diabetes to achieve normal blood glucose levels. The insulin works in the same way as natural insulin, by binding to insulin receptors and cells in the body. Insulin causes cells in the liver, muscle and fat tissue to increase their uptake of glucose from the bloodstream. It also decreases the production of glucose by the liver and has various other effects that lower the amount of glucose in the blood. So Humalog injections contain a type of insulin called insulin Lispro, this is known as a fast-acting insulin. It works faster, but for a shorter length of time than soluble insulin. When it is injected under the skin, it starts to lower blood sugar within approximately 15 minutes, and its effects last for two to five hours. This type of insulin should be injected shortly before, or if necessary, shortly after a meal to control increasing blood glucose levels after eating. Insulin Lispro is usually used in combination with intermediate or longer acting types of insulin, which provide control over blood glucose throughout the day. It is important to monitor your blood glucose regularly and adjust your insulin dose as required. Your doctor or diabetic team will explain how to do this. Keeping your blood glucose level as close to normal as possible and not too high or too low significantly reduces the risk of developing late stage diabetic complications such as problems with nerves, eyesight or kidneys. So how do I use Humalog? Humalog injections are usually given under the skin of the upper arms, thighs, buttocks or abdomen. You should take care to make sure that the injection does not enter a blood vessel. The injection may start to work at different speeds depending on the site you use and various other factors such as if you've been doing exercise. In general, injections into the abdomen start to work quicker than those given in other areas. You shouldn't massage the injection area after administering the injection. Humalog can also be injected into a vein intravenously, but only under medical supervision. Each time you inject your insulin, make sure you use a different site. This helps to prevent the skin thickening and pitting, which can occur if the injection is repeatedly given in the same site. You should measure your blood sugar levels every day when using insulin injections. The dose you need to inject each time will depend on your blood sugar levels, what you are going to eat, and if you have been doing or will be doing exercise. Control of blood sugar is an individual process and your diabetes specialist will help you understand what is required. Your insulin requirements may increase when you are ill, especially if you have an infection or fever. Your insulin dose may also need adjusting during periods of emotional disturbance or if you increase your physical activity or change your usual diet. Insulin requirements may be replaced or reduced if you have impaired kidney or liver function. Discuss this with your doctor or diabetes nurse to make sure you optimise control of your blood sugar. It's not to be used in low blood sugar levels or hypoglycemia. This medicine should not be used if you're allergic to any one of its ingredients. So please inform your doctor or pharmacist if you have previously experienced such an allergy. If you feel you have an experience in an allergic reaction, stop using the medicine and inform your doctor or pharmacist immediately. For pregnancy and breastfeeding, insulin Lispro has been used by a large number of pregnant women and has not been shown to have any harmful effects on the pregnancy or the health of the newborn baby. Blood sugar levels need to be maintained as stable as possible during pregnancy and you should consult your diabetic specialist to discuss how to achieve this. Your insulin requirements are likely to decrease in the first trimester and subsequently increase in the second and third trimester. Discuss this with your doctor. There is no risk to nursing infants from insulin taken by the mother. However, your insulin dose may need to be adjusted while you are breastfeeding. 
again, discuss this with your doctor or diabetic nurse. So the side effects of Humalog. The following are some of the side effects that are known to be associated with this medicine. Low blood glucose level or hypoglycemia. Fluid retention, which is oedema. Redness, swelling or itching at the injection site. Skin thickening or pitting if injection given too frequently into the same site. And rarer side effects would be the allergic reaction, hypersensitivity, such as skin rash, itching hives, chest tightness, shortness of breath, or severe allergic reactions such as anaphylaxis. For more information about any other possible risks associated with this medicine, please read the information leaflet provided with the medicine or consult your doctor or pharmacist. So how can this medicine affect other medicines? Insulin itself doesn't affect other medicines. However, it is important to be aware that many medicines can affect blood glucose levels and can therefore change your insulin requirements. For this reason, people with diabetes should always seek advice from their doctor or pharmacist before taking any new medicines or stopping existing medicines. So the following medicines may decrease blood sugar levels. If you start treatment with any of these, your insulin dose may therefore need decreasing. ACE inhibitors, these can sometimes cause unpredictable drops in blood sugar. Anabolic steroids, so testosterone, anti-diabetic medicines taken by mouth, disopyramide, defibrates, fluoxetine, monoamine oxidase inhibitors, which is an antidepressant, phenelazine, which is the MAOI, Octeroid, large doses of salicylates, beta blockers, the propranolol, including eye drops contained, containing beta blockers, these can mask some of the signs of low blood sugar, such as increased heart rate tremor. They also prolong episodes of low blood sugar and impair recovery back to normal glucose levels. The following medicines may increase blood glucose levels. If you start treatment with any of these, your insulin dose may therefore need increasing. Some antipsychotic medicines such as chlorpromazine, olanazepine, the corticosteroids such as prednisolone, danazole, the diuretics, especially thiazide diuretics such as bendrofluotiazide, isoniazid, lithium, protease inhibitors, for example, ritinovar, somatriptan, which is a human growth hormone, estrogens and progestogens such as those contained in the oral contraceptives may affect blood sugar levels and women taking these may need small adjustments up or down in their insulin dose. So where do I store Humalog? The prefilled pens, unused prefilled pens, should be stored in a refrigerator at between two and eight degrees Celsius. You do not freeze them. Once in use, the pens should be kept out of the fridge below 30 degrees Celsius. They can be used for up to 28 days. The pen cap must be put back on the pen after each injection in order to protect it from light. The pens should not be stored with the needle attached. Make sure all medicines are kept out of reach of children and avoid exposing them to excessive heat or direct sunlight. So if you have any questions on Humalog you can contact, or anything else, you can contact me through the live pharmacist on the website. You can email me or call into the pharmacy in Broaddale, up Mary Brahill and Douglas in Cork. Thank you for watching.